Dooley County School System asking voters to continue an education floss to pay for new school projects. Pepper, break, Pepper Baker breaks down the plans they say will provide students with new opportunities. Dooley County Schools aim to provide their students with all the resources they need to learn. Keisha Carter has a son in the 11th grade and she sees their efforts. We want our kids to be happy, but we also want them to be successful when they leave. Um, so I see Dooley County moving towards that direction. That's why she's supporting the education splossed on the November election ballot. I want parents to understand too, you know, our kids deserve it. They deserve the best and this penny tax will help them get there. You know, so I am in support of it. Math specialist Kristen Anderson and safety director David West say technology and security are some of the top items on their list. Our district doesn't have the type of technology that you would find available in other more affluent areas and school systems. We are a Title I district and it would definitely help the system with everything that we need from supplies for classes to technology. Uh, the buildings were built in the 70s and 80s. Uh, here at the high school and in the two, early 2000s at the uh, elementary middle school and we don't have the uh, proper access controls where we can secure our buildings. The district's kept the same millage rate for the last six years, so taxpayers won't expect to see a property tax increase on the ballot. Voters will decide whether to continue the East Plus funds for another five years that will go towards building the district's first ever performing arts center. Our students do not have access to a stage uh, to perform with uh, singing, acting, dancing, this is our opportunity to give them uh, options that other students have. It's just important that we continue to support our own and keep our dollars here in Dooley. That's what we're trying to do, you know, keep our dollars here in Dooley. In Dooley County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Other projects include a food processing plan on campus for their agriculture program and upgrades to athletic facilities. The district would receive more than $7 million from East Blost funds over five years starting in January 2020.